ഈ കമ്പനി വന്ന ശേഷം തന്നെ കമ്പനി വന്ന് ഒരു ആറ് മാസം ആകുമ്പോഴേക്ക് ഈ വെള്ളത്തിന്റെ ടേസ്റ്റുകളൊക്കെ മാറിപ്പോയി കുളിച്ചാലും തല ചുറ്റല് ആ കൈയും കാലൊക്കെ ഒരു വേദനയും കുടച്ചിലുണ്ട് We come here as guests to be with our brothers and sisters who have been struggling and the media will then report Coca Cola refused to let the people of Plachimada no, in you is, know that's that, exactly what we are questioning is, about is, you that, as a company that is a subject i am not supposed to debate ingine pattike chatta mari oru challa vrittiyata chooru varunnundu ipo angane illa samaram thodangiyappo raatri samayathe water tank thorkkunnullu appo raatri 12 manikku sesham okke adu vaari kondu va adu valavanannu parney kottu kondu irikkana have to work harder to do something about this because Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Nestle let's not forget Nestle is in communities they're water hunters they're hunting what's left of the purest water under the ground all over the world and they're destroying communities in their wake and they don't care last few years we have been seeing a lot of movement on privatization and commercialization of the water sector the government of india make a new water policy to privatize our common natural resource so we fight against this policy and i start a water literacy movement all over country the water right is the main issue in this journey aur is meeting mein jo baat hai unhone kisi ne bhi ye socha ho कि ये पानी दूध के भाव बिकेगा बिफोर दीज मल्टी नेशनल एवरी विलेज हैव द सेल्फ सफिशियंसी एवरीथिंग वी आर वी हैव इन आवर विलेजेस आफ्टर द मल्टी नेशनल द सीड्स फर्टिलाइजर इवन वाटर गो इन द हैंड ऑफ द मल्टी नेशनल इफ दे कैन कंट्रोल द रिसोर्स ऑफ लाइफ so they can control the whole thing in our country what is also going to happen as a part of this process of commercialization is that the water resources that the people themselves have created are going to be either shut off or are going to be privatized in the state of madhya pradesh the asian development bank has given a loan for improvement of water supply one of the conditions of this loan is that public stand posts from which the poor people draw their water will be closed down today it's the public stand posts tomorrow it would be the wells and tanks which the people have built themselves all these would either be privatized or would have to be closed down so i think there is a very very important connection that we need to make here what happens when not just hundreds but thousands and even millions of people find their household economies their work their livelihoods collapsing I think this is the hotbed from where all kinds of social ills or even terrorism all kinds of uh, civil disorders uh, will spring from when it comes to water and people's right to water we have one common humanity and one common survival there is no substitute for clean fresh water in local endowments of rivers streams and grounds water there is no substitute there is no alternative and that's why water must be protected everywhere never doubt that a small group of thoughtful committed citizens can change the world indeed it's the only thing that ever has we are proof of that This band of people in Michigan which grew from a small band to 1800 members now and it's growing and they're connecting with all the other groups in North America and elsewhere in the world because that's how this that's how this works. It's not a democratic issue and it's not a republican issue. It's a people issue. This started is very simple. Going to the people and uh, talking to them make them aware of the danger that is ahead. That's all. we have got all these uh, gadgets of the uh, of modern technology but 
there is there is no technology superior to foot march that they can't stop Let it be clear to this company Suez that says we must raise the tariffs and if we don't they will leave if they wish to go they can the people will know what they have to do What if we work in harmony with water? Because don't we want our children and our children's children to share time with all these beautiful life forms? I mean, do we come here to spend most of our time living in non-living boxes? And why are we here? The large majority of the people don't understand that the future of their children and the future of other species, the future of the entire ecosystem, is now in the hands of how we humans interfere with how the planet operates as a system we want to leave a positive legacy for the future generations not a disaster which they have to fight i don't know how is it going to happen but it's got to come from at some level from introspection right it's got to come ultimately from everybody asking himself and herself what really matters to them and making a change or taking some action that is consistent with what really matters how much we are taking from the nature today we are taking taking everything from the nature but we are not giving to the nature so this is the relationship your life your life style can survive with the friendship <laughs>